Hello, my name is Bob. I'll be interviewer today. Hi, Bob. My name is Adrian Rapp. Thank you for this opportunity. Yes. Uh, first, can you give me an example of a good decision you made recently? What alternatives did you consider, and why was it a good decision? A good decision that I've made recently is that a coworker asked me to take her shift because she needed to take a family member to an appointment. The alternative that I could have done was say no to that shift, and the reason why I think it's a good decision is because we would have been short-staffed had I not taken that shift. Alrighty. In your position as a head cashier, how do you define doing a good job? Can you give me a specific example? And doing a good job would mean meeting our customer's satisfaction. And a way that I do that is by making sure we can do returns for those customers, price matching for the customers, and just making sure they're having an overall good experience at our store. Alright. Can you describe some specific assignments, tasks, or job positions you enjoyed most? I enjoy being a head cashier due to the fact that I get to interact with customers longer than what I would if I was on the floor. Alrighty. Can you give me an example of how you determine the top priorities in your school or job? Uh, judging between school and work, I always put school as my top priority due to the fact of I want to get good grades and make sure that I can pass my classes. Okay. Have you ever been too persistent? What happened and how could you have improved the outcome? A way that I have to be too persistent, I would say, in my job is that we have to try to get people to sign up for harvest cards and the negative outcome on that would be when they say no that they don't want to sign up and the positive outcome would be us explaining it to a degree that they would feel comfortable with signing up for the card and being able to save money with our store. Mm -hmm. Can you describe a situation in which you found your results were not up to your boss's expectations? What did you do to rectify the matter? I would say a way that my I've not met my boss's expectations would be when I was on the floor we would have to make sure that we pull things forward and do recovery and there's been times that I've not been able to do that and my manager had always said if we couldn't do that to call for help and like let just let management know what was going on. So I've had to do that multiple times and a way that I try to rectify the situation is by when I come in that next day I would make sure I make my department look better than what it did the night before. Alrighty. How did you decide on the school you wanted to attend? What alternatives did you consider? The reason why I chose Rin Lake College as my school to go to was because I was taking dual credit classes through my high school at the time and also because it was affordable and close to home. Where my alternatives for schools were SIU or Murray State. And the reason why I didn't do Murray State was because it was so far away and SIU just was too much money at the time. All right. Tell me about some time when you weren't very pleased with your performance, and what did you do about it? A time that I've not been pleased with my performance was a, the last semester I was in Intro to Sociology, and I ended up missing two of my tests, and that made it so that I was not passing the class, so I dropped the class and, and re-enrolled this semester. And while taking it this semester, I made sure to stay on top of everything and making sure I did not miss any school, like, any test or any schoolwork that was assigned so that I could pass the class. All right. What were your goals at work or school last year? How did you set them? Did you achieve them? Why or why not? One of my goals was passing the medical assistant cer certificate program, which I did. But another goal that I had was getting in the vice president's list or even the president's list. My first semester of my medical assisting classes, I ended up getting on the vice president's list by just being diligent and making sure I was doing my coursework. And then I ended up getting on the president's list when I grad when I was graduating with my certificate. All right. What was the biggest problem you encountered while you were at college, and what did you do about it? The biggest problem that I encountered was that I was originally going for radiology. And I ended up not passing those classes, so I had to drop, be dropped from the program. And what I could have done was I could have just sat there and felt sorry for myself and not gone on and waited and tried to see if I could get back in the program or I could have continued on in a different course. And what I decided was to do medical assisting classes and I ended up really enjoying those. So I continued on, got my certificate, and ended up also continuing on to get my associates. Alright, well, 
that's all the questions I have for you at this time. Um, thank you very much for coming. We'll contact you if you have any more. Okay. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. I hope to hear from you soon.